As of 2021, The weekend is worth about $100 million, and he spends that money on high-tech garages, luxurious mansions, and sleek supercars. The Canadian performer came from humble beginnings, but now he's living it up in one of LA's most expensive penthouses. His luxurious lifestyle includes mirror-floored auto galleries and rooftop terraces in New York City, and he's been spotted enjoying Lamborghinis, Porsches, and even a McLaren. He's so rich that he spent $7 million of his own money on his Super Bowl performance, blowing past an already $10 million budget. Here's everything we know about how The Weeknd spends his millions. The Weeknd is a big fan of supercars and vintage rides. In total, it's estimated his car collection is worth over $3 million and made up of just a few expensive vehicles. One of his favorite cars was prominently featured in the music video for Starboy, but he wasn't just trying to show off by getting a fancy car for the feature. He actually does own a McLaren P1. The hybrid supercar can go from 0 to 60 in only 2.8 seconds, and his model is expected to have cost $2 million or more. The Weeknd also owns a classic ride, a G-Series Porsche 911. It costs upwards of $250,000 and is a pretty popular collector's item today. One of his most admired cars is a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ with a starting price of $517,000. The high-performance supercar is probably the weekend's most attention-grabbing vehicle, though there's also his limo-like Bentley Mulsanne, an impressive luxury sedan that costs about $340,000. Rounding out his collection is a Mercedes AMG G63. These vehicles have stunning interiors with Napa leather upholstery and 64 color LED ambient lighting. It definitely cost him more than $200,000, though the exact price he paid for it depends on how he chose to customize his ride. All those expensive cars need a nice garage to come home to. So the weekend went all out when he bought this Hidden Hills mansion in 2017 for $18.2 million. It's the first major mansion the singer has ever owned. The home is three acres of land off an ultra-private road in one of LA's ritziest neighborhood. It has the perfect garage for him to store and display his supercars. It's mirror-floored with color-changing LED lights and glass-paneled doors. The two-story house is pretty impressive, too. There are seven bedrooms and nine and a half bathrooms, a screening room, huge office, climate-controlled wine cellar, and open-concept living and dining areas. The property comes with plenty of other buildings and facilities for the performer to enjoy. There's a separate guest cottage, an eight-stall barn, swimming pool with cabana, a gym and yoga room, and even a full-size basketball court. We can't imagine how, but The weekend must have gotten sick of this glamorous pad, because in 2021, he sold it. It was on the market for a while at $25 million, but he eventually unloaded it to Madonna for $19.3 million. The weekend has since moved on to another luxurious pad in LA, this $21 million penthouse. It spans the entire 18th floor of Beverly West, a 22-story luxury tower. It's also one of the most expensive penthouses ever sold in LA. This place is 8,200 square feet in total with 11 foot ceilings. One side of the penthouse features a massive great room that spans the entire side of the building. It includes a bar and a huge balcony at either end. These offer amazing panoramic views of the city. The penthouse comes with a fully equipped chef's kitchen, four large bedrooms and an in-unit gym. The building also has its own 24-hour security service, making the place perfect for a celebrity. The weekend has always been a fan of incredible penthouses, even before he settled down in LA. He didn't buy, but rented this $27.5 million Greenwich penthouse in New York City for a reported $60,000 per month while dating supermodel Bella Hadid back in 2018. It takes up three entire levels and includes over 1,000 square feet of private outdoor space. A room with floor-to-ceiling glass windows opens up into an incredible private rooftop terrace, fully equipped with lighting, speakers, and a kitchen. The views probably sweetened the deal, but the building's reputation as being paparazzi-proof was likely the biggest selling point. It has tough security and an underground garage, so celebs are never spotted leaving or arriving. It's been home to plenty of famous people, like Jake Gyllenhaal, Justin Timberlake, and Jennifer Lawrence. 
The Weeknd has no problem shelling out money on real estate, but he likes investing in his own talent even more. When he performed at the Super Bowl halftime show in 2021, he spent millions of dollars of his own money to make it perfect. The Super Bowl usually covers a budget of up to $10 million for their star-studded halftime show, which is spent making the 12-minute performance as memorable and entertaining as possible. But $10 million wasn't enough for the weekend. His manager said the star spent an extra $7 million of his own money to make the show perfect. Considering the Super Bowl is a huge promotional opportunity, we can see why. But a $17 million 12-minute performance? That still sounds pretty crazy to us. While The weekend was in Tampa for the show, he reportedly stayed at this $9 million Tampa mansion and spent $100,000 to rent it for less than a week. In return for all the money spent, The weekend received this custom-made Super Bowl ring with 16 karat diamonds. He also blew the audience away and promoted his super successful album, After Hours. So perhaps spending that extra $7 million was worth it after all. The weekend isn't one of those celebrities that likes to flash around his money. Whether it's the fancy cars or charity donations, he tends to keep things pretty humble. Well, as humble as you can when you're worth $100 million. When it comes to giving back, he's specified a few places where his money has gone to make a difference. In June 2020, he gave away $1.5 million to a few different organizations. A third went to Music Airs to help musicians impacted by venues shutting down. Another third went to frontline workers in Scarborough, Ontario, where he was raised, and the last $500,000 was split among several organizations. These include Black Lives Matter, National Bailout, and Colin Kaepernick's Legal Defense Initiative. In 2020, he also donated $300,000 to Global Aid in Lebanon and $350,000 to the Equal Justice Initiative. But being charitable is nothing new. The weekend has been quietly donating heavily for years since his career first started rising. Back in 2016, he gave $50,000 to the University of Toronto to fund a new class on Ethiopic studies and another $250,000 to Black Lives Matter that year as well. So how did this Ontario-born superstar rise to fame and amass such an impressive net worth? The weekend, born Abel Tesfaye got his start on YouTube, then released a mixtape that captured the attention of fellow Canadian performer Drake. He reached new heights of success with his album Starboy in 2016. Forbes reported that he raked in $92 million in 2017, earning the number six spot on that year's list of top paid entertainers. This was mostly thanks to his massive Starboy Legend of the Fall World Tour. And he'll soon be raking in even more cash when he sets out on tour with his new hit album. He's expected to make about $1.3 million per show. The weekend is also expanding outside of music to help grow his fortune. He bought an ownership stake in Toronto-based esports company Overactive Media and has ongoing apparel collabs with Bape and Puma. We also can't help but notice The weekend's love for expensive accessories, like this $30,000 Rolex Datejust Onyx. He's also generous with his gifts. He bought his ex Bella Hadid a $72,000 Audemars Piguet's Royal Oak covered in pink diamonds.